Whether or not you lose your hair from radiation treatment is really dependent upon where in the body the radiation treatment is directed. If the radiation treatment is directed towards the scalp or towards the brain, then hair loss is very possible. It could be permanent, but more than likely it would be temporary. Fatigue is a very common side effect of radiation, and that can occur regardless of which part of the body is being treated with radiation. Nausea and vomiting are not typically associated with radiation treatments, except for when parts of the body are being radiated that may cause that. For example, when the brain is being treated with radiation, some patients may experience some nausea or vomiting. Also, when the upper abdomen near the stomach or the small intestines are being irradiated, that may cause a patient to have some level of nausea or vomiting. Radiation burns are something that a lot of patients have seen uh, or have heard about through the media. Whether or not a skin reaction will occur is dependent to some extent on the location of the tumor or the area being treated with respect to the skin. If the area that's being treated is very close to the skin, then a skin reaction is much more likely because the dose of radiation going to the skin is going to be higher. When the target of the radiation treatment is deeper inside the body, the skin dose is much lower and we typically wouldn't expect a skin reaction in certain types of treatments. Many patients are able to work during their radiation treatments. To some extent, it depends on the type of treatment that's being delivered, the part of the body that's receiving radiation, and whether or not chemotherapy is being given concurrently with the radiation. For patients who are healthy uh, and able to work prior to starting radiation treatments, they're often able to continue working throughout their treatment. Chemotherapy can be delivered either through the veins or through pills that can be taken and ingested. The side effects of chemotherapy can vary depending on the type of chemotherapy and the mechanism through which it affects the body. Radiation therapy is a much more targeted treatment. The radiation typically comes from outside the body or from within the body, but the dose of radiation is typically highly targeted to the tumor or the area where a tumor was. What that means is that the side effects are very different. Whereas chemotherapy can often affect the entire body, radiation therapy, the effects of radiation therapy, are typically limited to the area that's being radiated. There are many different types of radiation therapy. This is typically x-rays or photons, but it can also be electrons or protons as well. When the electrons strike the target, they then produce photons, which can then be shaped and uh, used to kill cancer. Another common type of treatment is called brachytherapy. This involves small radioactive seeds that can be implanted into the body or the tumor, either temporarily or permanently. There are different types of brachytherapy, and your doctor will determine the most optimal type for your specific scenario.